Hey everybody, what's going on? <clears throat> the subject for this video is going to be the Antichrist. So what you see going on in Syria is another piece of the puzzle of setting up the system of rule that he will take over when he takes control. No, he hasn't actually claimed himself as world ruler yet. I do believe he's alive. I can't say for sure who he is. Uh, we know about 666, the number of his name, but we can't actually place that number on an individual right now. So we've been told, these are different translations as you can see, Jesus said, when he was here, you know, I am come in my Father's name. I came for you all, my Father's name, and you received me not. You know, we didn't, not everybody received him, they rejected him. And then, of course, we had the crucifixion for the sacrifice, shed blood for us. Yet he said, if another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Well, to me, and probably a whole lot of others, he's talking about the Antichrist who will be the one to rule the world, but he's also talking about others that will come actually before him, the other false ones that will say they're Jesus, but they're not. You got plenty of them. <clears throat> so there's going to be, you know, different people who we think it's going to be that it's actually not. Plenty of people who said that they are Jesus, but they actually are not, which that's happening right now. Well, how can we identify him <clears throat> other than 666? Well, the only other surefire way that I can help anybody out with understanding is we'll probably have a good idea by the time it comes to this point, but this will just be verification. From the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished and the abomination that causes desolation is set up, there will be 1290 days, and these are different translations and different Bibles and stuff. So, to me, what I interpret that is somebody is going to abolish the daily sacrifice. <clears throat> They're going to get rid of it. And to me, this somebody is going to have so much authority against Christianity as a whole, is getting rid of Christianity as a whole, or Christianity will be so enamored by this individual that he'll say it's no longer necessary that you do this because I am here now so you don't need to do this anymore and fool them one way or the other but to me this these words here from the time the sacrifice is abolished and the abomination that causes desolation is set up Whoever does that, that will be our verification that that's the person. Who could the person possibly be? Well, we see a lot of different possibilities. We have a lot of leaders that claim the right to rule, the divine right to rule. Some of these leaders claim that their divinity goes all the way back to the closest to Daniel. Therefore, that puts them first in line to be able to be the closest to God on the planet. And here you see Elizabeth. A lot of people say that the royals, 
have no power actually. These are just figureheads. I tell you they got a whole lot of power. It's just not spoken about. It's not believed. You know, mainstream doesn't believe it anymore. But these people still got the stroke. I'd still tell you there's not a move made on this planet that these people don't know about or give a thumbs up or a thumbs down about. Very powerful family. This is the technocrat here. This man here, we all know about him computers and technology, billions and billions and billions of dollars. There wouldn't be a way to spy on your emails and stuff if there was no such thing as a computer, right? So don't think this guy's not tied in. He's also delving into how to rid the planet of carbon or not carbon, but uh, emissions. You know, bring it down to the zero level. So he is a very untrustworthy individual. This guy here, Abdullah of Jordan, he also claims to be a very long descendant. of the ancients. You're not hearing a lot about Jordan right now. They're kind of real quiet. They're not getting picked on. There's no uprising in Jordan now. And it might be somebody to watch even though they're a little tiny nation. Don't seem to have much going on. But somehow this man's involved in the whole thing too. Prior videos I've discussed Francis and how he is the last Pope. And how the prophecy of the Popes point to him as the final one in the end times. So far he's making all the right moves. So far he's feeding his flock. So far, he looks like a good guy. A lot of these people put on masks, you know, an image. It doesn't really mean that's what they are inside. But I'm just saying, this is what he's done so far. We know what this one's done so far. He's done everything that you don't want done. You're definitely not a Christian by any means. Merkel of Germany well doesn't seem like much a very influential world leader And then we delve into the people that control the money moment, mostly. The Rothschild family. Very powerful family. Control lots and lots and lots. If not all, but quite a substantial amount of the world's money. And we go to the Saudis king of Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. He got some clout in the little OPEC cartel dictating to the rest of the world how much we're going to pay for gas. And we got old Silvio here. Can't forget about him. And who could leave out George Soros, who in his writings and his books is already, you know, admitted he likes to stir up turmoil and 
in countries and uh, you know pretty much turn them upside down and reform them. And he's got quite a lot of money. Somehow he's got quite a lot of influence. And then we have Putin. Doesn't seem like much, but he's the leader of a powerful country. And he's also a billionaire. And from what I understand, he, he's also like a president of a very large bank, if not if not the largest one in Russia, but a very large one, while at the same time leading his country, commanding a very strong military. Then we go back to the man waiting in line for his mother to hand over the reins to him. He wants to be the king. He wants to save the world from uh, Global warming mainly is what I've seen him make speeches on. And then you've got the man who just had a baby. Him and his wife just had a baby. The man who would be king if something happened to grandma and daddy. He seems to be admired by most of the world. And then you have this out and out liar who's probably going to be your next president. I'm ashamed to have to utter those words, but I feel sure in my heart that they have already locked it up and chosen this one to succeed Obama. She shouldn't even be allowed to do anything. She's lied all the way through about Benghazi. She lied for her husband when he committed adultery. There's nothing that comes out of her mouth that seems to have any truth to it. Not meaningful truth to us. So you can go from bad to worse. She thought she couldn't. You went from Bush to Obama. And you got worse. Your rights got trampled on and taken away. Jobs still suck. Unemployment's still high. More people are on food stamps than they were before when Bush was in there. Gas has doubled under Obama. So once he leaves and this one takes the reins, wow, it's going to be really bad. And then you got uh, another billionaire here, another Rockefeller. But what I've just showed you is a legion of evil, one right after the other, nothing more nothing less. You see how the people run the world? They have different jobs, different different things that they do. But they all work for the same person. They work for the evil one. They work for the ultimate end goal. Put him in power and receive their just rewards for their work in helping him. To gain power in this place that he will call his kingdom. So though it may not be any of these people, these are some of the most powerful faces that we know of. In my heart, I have a feeling it's someone that we know and admire, or it doesn't have to be the whole world. It just has to be a majority. Because if it turns out to be an American or a Brit, something of that nature, you may not see the Islamic world take as big of a shine to that person because they're not Arabic. And the reverse would be for Americans if this person happens to be of Middle Eastern descent. So as it goes, he's here. And all these things going on are just like setting the table and waiting on him to come to the head of the table and take his reins. So God bless everybody and God help us all.